A swap is a cash settled over the counter derivative where two counterparties exchange two streams of cash flows. It is called an interest rate swap. If both of these cash flow streams are in the same currency and are defined as cash flow streams that might be associated with some fixed income obligation. The most popular interest rate swaps are fixed for floating interest rate swaps. This is where one cash flow or fixed rate loan are exchanged for a floating rate loan. I'm going to take a look at this with this spreadsheet. Over here we have a lower rate and a higher rate. Typically a company with a lower or better credit rating uh, will exchange with a company with a higher rating and potentially they'll split the difference and both parties will be able to earn a small basis point difference. It doesn't sound like a lot of money but when we're talking about borrowing a hundred million dollars if you can save one or two basis points over five years you could be talking about a considerable amount of money. So company A with the lower fixed rate and the better credit rating can borrow at 8%. The, another company can borrow at a higher rate of 8.5%. Let's just let's even keep this at So, the company with the higher rate will will exchange interest rate payments for 8% and this company, this the lower rate will take the LIBOR. So over here we have 8%, no, no LIBOR, and there's 8.5% 8 8 percent, percent above LIBOR payment. This is what it'll look like after the swap. We'll have LIBOR plus 0.5 and 8%. So the net gain on this would be a, approximately a half a percent. <clears throat> the net position. Uh, sometimes, normally, we don't, we're not going to take out here, but if there's an inter intermediary, which there normally will be, somebody possibly to take a small amount for setting up a loan, we could deduct that here. Excuse me. So we put that there. We'll leave it at zero for now. So then the income will, will subtract it from the net position the intermediary. And this is what they're going to share. And so this, this, the one with the lower fixed rate, will end up with a LIBOR plus 0.25. And then the one with the higher rate will end up with 8.5%, 8.25% savings of the 2.5% the, the 2 and no LIBOR. Here's a spreadsheet that helps explain this. So these are what we're swapping. Swapping over here, we do need to put this in. This is important. We need to select on this line the correct rate. So this, if we have the arrow, we take this one. And over here, we take this one. And we put this here, otherwise it won't, won't calculate correctly. <coughs> 